Indeed, yeah, no need for both. If you have it, so often it's easier to generate kind of a black and white map from something or misappropriate a black and white map and use it as a bump map. Making a normal map is a little bit more difficult. So it looks, it, it has this particular look to it here. Um, like, you know, this, this has a lot of detail in here. This, I think, is teeth here. <laughs> it's technically a data map, if you will. So this tells the render engine where a normal is pointing. That's why they're called normal maps. So uh, the normal is the direction of a polygon. And depending on where in 3D space it points, that is basically what this map records. And it's called a data map because if you if you imagine this is a face and it could it could be rotated anywhere in in the 3d world imagine there's a little stick that's pointing out the stick essentially is the imagine that's kind of the 3d manipulator for that one face and depending on which way is rotated in x y and z space that's data is recorded as a red green and blue value and that's why they look weird like this and so for the render engine it understands if it shines light at a face like that which way the normal is pointing and then it knows which way to reflect the light from and which way to calculate it that's that's basically what a normal map does but the calculation to make that happen is, is relatively complex so that's why not every every program can do that photoshop can do that it has a way to kind of fake it but to really be able to render this type of map you need to have a 3d object and properties on it and something like substance meter that can really calculate it so there's a way to convert them as well you, you're very welcome of course there is a program that can convert height maps to bump maps and vice versa so there is there is that but it's always only going to be an approximation but because without the 3d object a bump map wouldn't really be able to translate well into a normal map you can kind of fake it and and that's how things like photoshop do it and I, what's this program called brian told me that um it has a really janky interface it's made with unity but it's not really a 3d program but yeah you can do it but without the 3d object it's it's impossible to get this type of level of detail <laughs>